you're going to hear a statement now that's a pretty profound statement, and I want you to open up your minds for anybody who hasn't heard about this, because uh, what we're going to talk about is nothing less than the single greatest health science, anti-aging, and sports performance breakthrough of our lifetime. And some health practitioners professional is saying there will never be a bigger breakthrough. So we've got something pretty, pretty profound here. Um, before I go into my story and I'll show you some photos, um, I just want to just want to talk about the company dis disclaimer and I'm going to talk about specifically uh, these products, ASEA and the Renew 28. Now these these products, ASEA and Renew 28, are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure or prevent any disease or medical condition. So we just want to make that clear up front. I've got an incredible personal um, physical story. You're going to hear about that now, but we, um, we're not going to make any claims here at all. This is just passing on information and you're going to understand by these photos, a pinch of pates, pates, a thousand words, what I went through personally and how I've gone from literally a few years ago, zero health to where I am today. So I'm going to show you a few photos and the, the first one is going back to my sporting days. I, uh, I used to love playing sports. I played rugby league. I did judo gymnastics. I, I did aerobics. I surfed. And I ended up doing this thing called bodybuilding. So this is, this is me back when I was 24 years old. Um, I was getting ready for the New South Wales state titles in two different federations. I don't like to talk about the two weeks after this photo, even though I looked a lot better. I actually came second in both competitions. Um, but the reason why I'm showing you this photo is, is the, um, because I used to you know, look after myself, I was so passionate about what I did. I achieved highly in sports and, and anything I really did in life. The next photo is a picture of me not doing bodybuilding, but 20 years later at the age of 44, doing a lot more cardiovascular, not picking up you know, the heavy weights, but really, really looking after myself. So here I'm thinking at this age, I'm, I'm coming into you know, close to 50, mid 40s, and uh, I was just about to tip on the other side of, of going down to 50. And I'm thinking, I want to be the best 50 look, year looking old, uh, 50 looking, 50 year adult human being that I can be. And in this photo, I, I do look pretty fit and healthy, but I can tell you I was in a lot of trouble. Six months later, the doctors gave me some very, very bad news. And you can see in this next photo, which was literally six months later, that I had no hair from the top of my head to my toes. Um, I, my second home here in Sydney was a hospital called the Royal North Shore Hospital. It was my second home. Um, I spent a lot of time there. And what they put me through in that hospital, I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. This was a very fake smile. And um, I really literally didn't physically want to be here with what I was going through. This is a friend of mine, Johnny Manor. He did play the highest level of rugby league here in Australia. He played for the Cronulla Sharks, Sharks and a team that I love and support called the Parramatta Reels. Um, Johnny had been through what I'd gone through. He had got the good one. I was lumped with a bad one. Um, he'd already been through all those hospital visits and unfortunately just after this photo he's came back and we lost him at the age of 23 he was only 21 years old in this photo at the end of those hospital visits my specialist literally told me because I, I asked for it I said you know what's going to happen where's where's my health going to and he was straight to the point and he said get your affairs in order so we went to the solicitor, we got our paperwork done, we got a little camper van, we started traveling Australia to enjoy what time that I had left. It was a situation where I would have to go back into those hospital visits and you can only handle so many of those hospital visits. So I made a decision when he told me that to take the responsibility of my own health um, back into my own hands. And I did some research and my research led to an alkaline diet. So I went on this pristine alkaline diet. I, I I took red meat out of my diet, chicken, alcohol, everything I could to keep my body in an alkaline state, which this thing that was in me um, apparently couldn't survive in an alkaline state. Um, I did spend a lot of money on nutritional products from a lot of network marketing businesses. I wasn't involved in a network marketing business before. I came from traditional business, um, but I... I researched companies like uh, Zango for their mangosteen juice, Isogenix for their product B, Protandum, uh, Celgevity, Kangen Water. I spent a lot of money on these products for two years. And you would think being on a pristine alkaline diet and spending all this money on all these products to try and help my body and empower it to heal itself, that I would actually look better two years later than what I did here. But this was the result. 
I ask the question, do I look healthy? So what you're seeing here is a direct reflect reflection of what was happening on the inside of my body still, and it wasn't good. My skin was horrendous. Um, I had red and yellow rings around my eyes. I, I looked horrendous. I felt horrendous. I had a little bit more hair, but nothing had changed, including the test that I'll get, I was getting, the results I was getting every six months. This was October 2014. I want you to write down or remember that date because I got a phone call off a friend of mine named Bart Cotter. And Bart introduced me to a technology. Actually, all he said over the phone was, I think I found something that could help. He knew I was in a lot of trouble with my health. Within a week, I found myself on a plane heading to Salt Lake City to the headquarters of this company called ASEA. And ASEA is a cellular health company. And uh, we were sitting in the boardroom. I was, I was in the boardroom with, a, with uh, Bart and also with a friend of mine, Mal Sword, who, who came along with me from Australia, who, who had skin challenges for 40 years and spent over $100,000 trying to get on top of what he was going through without getting any results. So we were there looking at the technology, this breakthrough for our health. Dr. Gary Samuelson, who's the atomic and medical physicist, was talking about this breakthrough, the science behind this, these products. Actually, there was only one product at the time, and that's this one we're going to talk about, which is this, the ASEA Redox supplement. And these bottles were sitting on the table in the boardroom. And all I can recall what I understood of what Dr. Gary Samuelson was saying, because a lot of the science was going over my head, was what was in the bottle sitting on the table was 100% non-toxic, and it could have health benefits. So Mel and I are sitting there and we're gorging this down because it was, you know, it was non-toxic, could have health benefits, and it was free, which was great. So um, I'd gone through about half a bottle while sitting there. Um, Dr. Samuelson finished his presentation. Uh, we went back to the hotel room because we we're going to have a shower and, and freshen up. We we're going to meet Dr. Gary Samuelson for dinner and the founders of ASEA, Virtus Norton and Tyler Norton. And I took off my shirt to have a shower and I'm covered in these little red spots. So what I was trying to achieve here in two years on this pristine alkaline diet and taking all these products, what I was trying to achieve here in that two years was happening in three hours. I was going through a major detox. It was, I was detoxing so fast that um, the toxins couldn't wait till I went to the bathroom that were coming out of my skin. So that was my first win on this product. The next morning I got up and I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna test this product that I was drinking that I was drinking the day before. And I did have some prior to breakfast that morning. And I went to breakfast and I'm thinking to myself, now, if I have two coffees, I'm okay. If I have any more than two coffees, I'm buckled over all day with an issue of bloating in my stomach and all sorts of problems because I've had a caffeine intolerance for 20 years. Now, you probably ask, why, do we, why did I still drink coffee at the time? Well, I was so tired and lethargic after those hospital visits, I actually used to drink more coffee to give myself more issues to give myself um, the discomfort uh, that it was giving me to get myself through the day so I wouldn't fall asleep. It was, um, it was a horrendous existence. Um, I had six coffees the next morning. Now that was a very difficult thing to do for you guys in America. Or you're probably used to coffee or you may not be, but for us guys coming in from Europe, from Australia, from all around the world, the coffee doesn't taste good at all. I had six coffees and I went through the whole day with nothing to remind me of what I endured for 20 years. So that 20 year issue was gone in 12 hours. That was my second win. The third win came the next day. I had so much lung damage from what they put me through in that hospital, I was having trouble breathing and talking at the same time. And you can see now I don't have that problem. The next day, my, my lungs were functioning at 100%. They were functioning perfectly. So that was my third win in a couple of days. And that was my experience on the product when I first started. You can just imagine how excited I was. It was really that, that, um, that second day, uh, that third win, when my lungs were functioning perfectly, that's when the light bulb went on, that whatever this stuff was, was pretty amazing. So do you think I went back to Australia after that and I stayed on the product, I kept drinking it? Of course I did. So unfortunately though, I came from a, a um, position where I was very successful in business to losing everything when I lost my health. And when I came back, I could only afford to drink a bottle a week. Um, but halfway through 2015, I increased the amount that I, I was taking to at least half a bottle a day. And by December 2015, I got some really, really, really good news. Um, my specialist couldn't find any sign of the two major issues um, that were literally going to be the death of me. 
um, which was ongoing hospital visits and the body can only handle so much. But not only that, and I'll show you a photo when I got that news and it was actually on that day, you'll see the difference. Not only that, I had a lot of injuries from playing sports from all those years ago. I had a severe whiplash injury, I had 80% use of the shoulder, 80% use of the left hand. I had back problems, hip problems, pelvic problems. I used to be lying in bed for time every month um, on medication to try and reduce the inflammation um, with my back being out. And all these things literally went away. My whole body was rebuilt including pollen issues I had with sneezing and runny noses all day in 2015. So I just want to go back from October, this photo in October 2014, to just over 12 months later. Now this was the health benefits um, that, that I received myself, that I achieved through taking this product. Um, if you look at the anti-aging side, um, you can see my uh, health. I look a lot better in these two photos and they're just over 12 months apart. But in less than two years later, you can see that I went from this to this to this. Uh, and what you can see now, which hopefully looks younger than what I am here. Um, so this is an incredible breakthrough, the single greatest breakthrough in health. So I've been through that. Anti-aging, you can see, see what I look like now. And in sports performance, I mean, I'm power walking literally up to three hours a day sometimes, and I could go all day like Forrest Gump and not stop because of what this is doing as far as performance, endurance, strength, and the recovery.